playwriting is valuable for our students in the juvenile court and community schools um, because it allows them to be free. It gives them a lot of freedom to express themselves. Our kids do come from so many different backgrounds, so many different situations. I need you here so you can help me out through the pregnancy. I don't want to do this alone. Babe, I'll be home soon. Don't worry too much. It's not good for the baby. I talked to my PO already. Hopefully I'll be out before Christmas so I won't miss anything. Okay. But don't get into fights. I won't. I promise. Better or you won't come out. We are showcasing what kind of themes can come out and what happens when people are brave enough to talk about some personal things they've experienced or observed through the safety of writing a fictional play. Kids were putting their own life stories in, some of their own struggles, their own concerns, their own fears, their own successes. African Americans who were originally just Africans were taken from their motherland, brought here by boat, and enslaved until slavery was abolished so almost 200 years later, and even after that was still segregated until some time later. When we bring a residency into a school, we always start with showcasing student plays from other schools, because it's important for students to get an understanding of one, what live theater is and what it's going to look like in the classroom, and two, what the standard would be for our goal. We are going to build a play that's based on character and based on relationships, and we are going to bring professional actors into the room to showcase their own work. I told you I'm the friendly neighborhood love bot. <laughs> One of my students, his name is Anthony, and uh, he's a phenomenal reader. But he also found out through this class that he's also a very good actor <laughs> and a very good playwright. He didn't know he had this talent. Oh, come on now. You're just a kid. Why are you drinking? You know you're just messing up your life. I know, but I I'm just trying to have some fun. <laughs> I know that, but you're still young. You can do so much with your life. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. But I don't care right now, I'm just a kid. At the end of the day, you're just gonna you're just gonna hurt your mom. This is my style. I gotta go but stupid buddy. Stupid I told you. My students are here for because I did something negative. So they get together because of a negative action that they did, something they were not supposed to do, something for which they were punished for. Now all of a sudden we create this positive moment where everybody's here for something positive and we're cheering each other and we're appreciating each other. Hi, my heart. Charger and the light. My glow warm, I'm being non-stop. Sometimes I be slow, sometimes fast. I have many emotions, but when I share a lot is love. I've been broken, stepped on, lied to, even cheated. Somehow I'm still beating, hoping someday I can share my love with another heart. A heart that is just like me. One heart is all I ask. That will love me back. I am a heart. It gives the students the opportunity to um, share their feelings in a safe format. So they can write, they can talk, they can discuss. What could happen in the relationship between the, maybe the mom and the kid and the dad? What could happen? There would be a lot of struggle, and you know, you know, there'd still be hope. You know, where there's a will, there's a way. So okay, so maybe they, even if they never got back together, Disney style with the house and the whole thing, maybe at least there could be a relationship between maybe yeah. those people and the, maybe the dad and the kid for sure. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Could be, could be that, could be in there. Go ahead. Often those residencies not only hit literacy, but they really hit a kind of rehabilitative um, function. I am a soul. I am the only one that is there when I'm sad. I am a soul that fades every day because demons got a hold of me. My heart is broken and dark, lonely and empty. I gave my soul to one beautiful soul, but that soul blew me away. And that's why the demons got a hold of me. It's really a neat experience to watch their words acted out by the professionals. I had students that said, I had no idea my writing sounded like that when it was acted out. I had students taking out their own phones because they were so proud they wanted to document what the actors were doing with their words. Good afternoon, lady 
Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Erica Phillips. I'm the Education Programs Manager at Playwrights Project, which is a fantastic not-for-profit organization in San Diego that has been around for over 30 years with a mission of increasing literacy and creativity through the act of playwriting. We run playwriting residencies all over the county and have done all year, and this year we are very proud to show you plays written by at-risk youth in the juvenile court and community system that are funded by the California Arts yeah. Council Jump Starts program. And we're so grateful recently to be able to put on a performance at the Del Mar Fairgrounds using some lovely pieces that maybe unintentionally, metaphorically, hit on some really important themes of abandonment, foster parenting, um, importance of uh, um, direction in life. You've, you, you, you've been acting uh, weird lately. I don't know, I'm just tired of struggling. Have you ever thought of having an owner and belonging to someone, huh? Uh, nonsense, Davey. I love the life on the streets. Now, I want a new life. Can I ask you a question, Billy? <laughs> yeah, sure. What is it, Mr. Goody Two-Shoes? I'm thinking of turning myself in and hopefully getting an owner. What? Where is mom? Hello? Where's mom, dad? I, I want to know. Okay. I'll tell you. Mom has left us. Mom left us? What do you mean she left us? Well, it it's just as it sounds. She left. What did you do? It, it had to be something you did. Why does it have to be something I did? Because mom wanted you home, too. Excuse me? Have you seen my mommy? She's big and... Wait, your mommy. Uh, I'm not your mom. I'm a shark and you're a turtle. You're mommy and I'm baby. Well, I always wanted a baby. Yes, mommy or, or no mommy? Um, I'm your mommy. Let's go to our house. Those actors perform their work as if it was written by Shakespeare with the same kind of commitment and it lifts our words off the page. And when you watch them, as I often do as the teacher in the room, you get to see a face that starts off when you call their name and you say, this is so-and-so's play. And the first thing they do is they hide their face. They go, no, 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 don't read mine. And then slowly the hands drop, the chin lifts, the mouth goes from this pinch thing to that's my play. Sometimes you see them mouth even their favorite lines of dialogue as the actors are reading them. And you see that pride come over them. The Playwrights has done a great job of being flexible, of understanding some of our kids' backgrounds and situations, knowing when to push, knowing when to, you know, give the kids some freedom to do it their way. There's something about putting your words on the line, having it read in front of your classmates. It makes uh, literature and the language more alive, more realistic. It makes them protagonists of writing and not just readers. That moment of success is something that for some of those students will be the first or the most powerful success moment they've had in class. And it's a joy to bring that to them.